okay you guys so it is Tuesday and I'm responding to some foolery Christine sent me ciao she sent me this hundred page PDF document we're supposed to read about modern workplace learning in 2018 It's 170 pages speaking of reading you guys I was trying to say a couple of logs ago that one of my classmates has said that her goal for reading books she had set a goal last year to read something like 80 books why did she say she read like 130 books in one year I am a reader I love to read books but I mostly was reading before I had a child and I wasn't too busy so that that was like two or three weeks ago right I'm like, how could she read all of those dang on books? And I'm a fast reader. I can sit down and read a book in three or four hours. Yeah, I'm a fast reader. Miss Jackson can read like that. So it's not like I, I'm a slow reader and it takes me. I just don't have the time. That was three weeks ago, right? So I'm like, okay, let me see what I have in my Kindle. Because I do have a couple of books. Like if there's a book that someone has suggested or that I need something on, need help on or something. I will download a book and I will read it. But I love physical books. I have a little mini library of about, between JV and us, we have about 100 books, to be quite honest. We have about 100 books. But I love books. And I, lo I love to be able to smell books and to flip through the pages. So, <clears throat> excuse me, y'all. <clears throat> I have a lot of Stephen King, <clears throat> John Saul. S-A-U-L, John Saul, Christopher Pike, old school girl. Um, most of Stephen King's, Anne Rice, all her, that little collection she has of the vampires. I have mostly all of John Saul and Stephen King, so that's that's the bulk of it. But I have a little off, you know, random books. I have The Help. I have, you know, um, Girl with the Dragon Tattoo, stuff like that. So I'm like, okay, let me see what's on my Kindle. So I decided to go ahead and read a book I've been wanting to read by Terry McMillan. Um, I read ahead, went ahead and read it, and I read it over a weekend. So I'm like, okay, I'm going to make my goal. I can't do 130 books, girl. A, a feasible and reasonable goal for me for reading is would be about five books. <laughs> she she's risk money to five books a month. That's what I'm gonna. That's what I'm going to do. Five. Um. I was supposed to have done a volunteer day with a organization called Dress for Success. And what they do is they help um, either lower income, not necessarily lower income, but people that ne don't necessarily have the skill set, women, not people, just women, um, with a job interview, styling interviews, questions, you know, doing mock interviews, helping them with their attire, um, stuff like that. And so I. I was excited to do it, you guys. So I looked at the hours, and it's like 9 to 2.30. I can't do that. First of all, I I don't even have the physical capacity anymore to volunteer all day. I used to volunteer for a long time, but I when I volunteer, I like to do it in hours, hour, three to four hours. I can't do, that's a work day. I mean, I had Thursday off, but I can't do that. And also, um, what I was going to say, um, I had to pick up JB by 3 o'clock and this place is in downtown Phoenix so perhaps one day when my husband is off I will do it but then I will but I don't think I could do a full day I will ask because I don't know what it, what all it entails okay I don't know if I'm gonna be you know lugging dresses around <laughs> girl. so I will probably more than likely will want to do a little bit more research on the organization which I probably should have done before instead of just flying by the mail and um, signing up for it. So I'm going to take my time to look it up, do, do some more research, contact them, possibly go over there, shadow someone, because they have different areas where you can actually um, volunteer, makeup, uh, personal shopper, which is what I was going to do, which we, which you could help someone with their attire, because I think I'm a, you know, right now I look crazy, but when I go to work, oh baby, I snatch it together. Yes, head turns. They're like, where are you going? I'm going, I'm going into the office. I'm like one of the one of the best people dressed in my office because everyone else is looking like they're gonna go fix some cornflakes. Girl, I don't know. So anyway, um, that was canceled. I do have a doctor's appointment tomorrow. That's okay, y'all. My um, what am I trying to say? My menu, holiday menu, is going to be slightly 
changing. I want some dressing. Yes, I want some dressing. So I'm going to be adding dressing to the menu. But I don't know about Italian wedding cake. Because this is the thing. Y'all saw that um, butter pecan cake I made. It looked good, didn't it? But I didn't like it. I didn't like it. I know where I messed up at, and I know how to correct it. Oh, but. let's talk about this hair real quick, girl. This is the only place I could do this. So, yes, the hair is considerably shorter. You guys, the reason why I was so butthurt about it is that I was only a few inches away from waist length, and that has been my goal. And those of you who don't know, I shaved my head in order to go natural. So I've had short hair. I know what my hair looks like. I knew, I know what a TWA looks like. So I worked, I have worked very hard to get to where the length I was at. I know, yeah, I know it could grow back, but this has been eight years of work to get to, I was two inches past bra length. Actually, Nezzy did a video recently. I was almost her length. Almost, yeah, almost her length, and her is very long. Her hair is all, her hair is almost waist length. So yeah, so yeah, I was perturbed a little bit. So, um, the stylist Miss Erlet said that she thinks that my hair can get back to its original length by May, and then I think that I could get back to birth. I could possibly get to um, waist length by the end of next year, if not the beginning of the year following, but. I know the overall goal, I've always said this to you guys to have healthy hair and my hair was not at its healthiest. I mean, my hair was splitting up. The ends were horrible and it was starting to split. I am really bad about trimming my ends and I know there's some of you who say, oh, I only trim my hair, you know, um, once, a, once a year or two, two, two times a year. You're supposed to be trimming your hair every quarter. With my hair especially, I know this for myself and I just, I got lazy. I just didn't do it. I um, mean, this has, this is honestly, I'm going to clock my own tea. This is my second time this has happened. And the second time she's had to, let me, let me back up. I didn't do what I did before. This is the second time where I've neglected my ends. Um, the first time she cut my hair and she said, let me go ahead and, and get rid of these ends. And it was, it was looking really good. She's like, she told me then, this was two and a half years ago, and she told me then you need to keep your ends trimmed. Do it every three or four months. I'm like, girl, bye. I, I gotta go deep condition. Uh, so, this time I tried to do it myself. Didn't do a good job, clearly. And then she had to correct it with me losing three and a half inches in certain areas. So, yeah. I mean, yeah, it's hair. It'll grow back. But when you've been working as long as I have to get to a certain length and to have this type of setback, it is what it is. It's still very healthy. It feels fabulous. Uh, wash day is going to be a breeze because so, I don't have those ends holding me up, girl. Holding me back, so. Hey you guys, it is Friday, it's Friday. Yeah, I'm not in the mood. I think that I'm still a little bumped out about my hair. I know y'all gonna be like, girl, get over it. Uh, Miss Erlette, she wrote me, cause I sent her the video. Uh, and she's like, your hair is not short, it is shorter. But you can't tell me looking at it now. Um, And yes, I know it's just hair, but one thing that I, I wanted to mention, cause <laughs> One person commented on that video, you know, you should let her do what she wants. You know, it's just hair. Girl, no. That's what makes Miss Erlette such a great stylist is because she's one of the few um, stylists who are actually, I shouldn't say that. There are some stylists that actually do listen to the client. Y'all, it's okay. Anyway, it's Friday. I went stay first because, y'all, I didn't let, um, we didn't take pictures with Santa Claus this year. I don't know. I just think... I think after five and over, it gets a little creepy, y'all. After five and over, it gets a little creepy, and he wasn't saying anything about it. We're like, whatever, child. So, you know, as a baby, one or two year olds, it's cute, but now it's like, no. Mm -mm. But what I did do is I printed out a letter from Santa. So, we're going to bake cookies the night before. And of course, my chubby ass is going to get up in the middle of the night till I may do it that night and eat one, take a bite out of one, leave some crumbs on it. <coughs> and leave the note next to the Christmas tree. 
people. Excuse me, y'all. I'm slobbering and shit. I'm thinking about the damn cookies, girl. <laughs> oh, Lord have mercy. So, y'all, um, I don't know. My mood has been off. It's more than just the hair. I just, my mood has been off. Um, and I need to slow down and relax around this time of the year. Like I said, I get anxiety. So, I'm okay. I will be okay. It's just I have a lot going on. So, right now, after this, I have to stop at the bank go to the credit union then go get jb his dang on raising cane because i promised him that and then go pick him up i have to do that all of that within 40 minutes yeah so let's just go ahead and keep it pushing one thing i do want to give y'all a heads up those of you who watch all my videos thank you first of all um i think 2019 next year will be my last active year as a youtuber meaning consistently uploading um I don't know where I'm going with this, but I'm doing a lot. You know, I have a lot of different videos that come out and I upload quite a bit. I upload at this point between three to four times a day, I mean a week, a day. I upload three to four times a week. And there are certain things I wanna do in my life. I wanna get my health in order. Cause girl, I was at the doctor's office earlier this week. And yeah, I need to lose some weight, you guys. Get my health in, health in order, get my BMI down to a health. I'm not fat by any means, but unfortunately, due to things that run in my family, I'm more predisposed to um, cancer, high blood pressure, which I, I'm on medication for that now. And I'm not even 40 years old. So I want to be able to get my health in order, get my life in order, get my goals in order, get back on my career. I'm always on my goal, you know, goal thing, but really start thinking about the hell was that start thinking about you know where i want to go as far as my career some things are changing around in my organization so yeah i want to focus on that the word of the day is mordant sorry yeah, i have an application where i download a word of the day girl that's that's a nasty sounding word you, see, you know what i'm saying y'all so i'm literally up I get up early anyway, but as soon as I get up, I find myself doing stuff that has to do with YouTube. Either I'm responding to comments, replying, because I try to be as active as possible, or I'm like editing a video. I'm getting burnt out. So yeah, I'm pretty sure next year would be my first full active year as a YouTube YouTuber. It doesn't mean that I won't be making content, I just won't be consistent. It will be like once a month or once every other month at this point. I was talking to another YouTuber, I'm not gonna name drop her, and she has a lot more subscribers than I do, but she has a quarter of the number of videos. I have 800 plus videos, and my subscriber, I just feel like I'm putting in so much work for 17, I love all of y'all, but I just feel like my channel hasn't grown the way it should have, and I'm, I'm tired too, I'm burnt out. So yeah, I'm gonna, slow my roll and focus on some other stuff here we go sheet pan meal this is just what i had in the um fridge you guys i have some yams in there but i figured this is enough this child's getting in my nerves hey i sprinkled some parsley on, on top some onions chopped up garlic tons of different seasonings popping this in the oven at 365 for 40 to 45 minutes and it shall be done you can serve this with some rice or as is i'm gonna make some spinach so i'm gonna lay the chicken thighs on a bit of spinach and then have these on the side real quick two things about some youtubers good news that i just i saw just today um and i think she subscribed to me gold mouth she's a sister i think she's is she i know she's in the south is it alabama or mississippi i can't remember where but she posted a video um either late last night or early this morning that um she is cancer free y'all amen praise god the sister had been battling cancer went through treatment and i just love her spirit i love gold mouth i know a couple of y'all who subscribed to her and congratulations to busby for having her little baby girl she posted a picture of that baby all i, all I saw was hair i'm like look at all this hair yeah, I'm, I'm, uh, it's time to clean clean with mariah Mar <laughs> anyone who knows me know i'm a huge mariah carey fan you cannot go wrong this is my wash and go looking like let's turn around Yeah. 
you gotta do that. Y'all know I'm crazy. It is inside inside places that is sleeping. Ooh, it is <laughs> Saturday. <coughs> you can't choke on Kim. It's Saturday. <coughs> What are we doing, JB? What are we going to do today? Da, 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 train park! Hey, calm down. Shh, shh, shh. We're going to go to the train park. This is a thing because. Are they to Freddie? See? Stop it. He's I'm, a I'm, they can't hear me because we're in Phoenix. It gets dark here early. Like, it starts to get dark around 5 30. I don't know. The, it, this, the, this time of the season is really weird <clears throat> because the time doesn't change. Oh, I'm talking, hold on, by 5.30, you would think it's 7 o'clock. The days are, I feel like the days are long. I don't know, what y'all think, those of you who live here in Phoenix, I feel like the days are stretched out. Um, and maybe partially of that is because we get up early. But to do something after 6 o'clock, it feels like it's 10 o'clock at night at that point. I need to show you something. But I'm not, you're not going to show them that. So what we're going to do. I'm going to show you. Not them. We'll go to the train park and it'll be Christmas lights. What you got to show me? Look. That's nice. So yeah, we'll do that. And right now I'm making a list. My husband's off starting Monday. I need to make a list because I want to be- That's scary. How do you know? How do you know? Because when I came in here, I heard some noise and that's when I saw it. I was like, what in the world is going on? He kicked it down. That's what woke me up. Jeez. But this tree is so pretty lit up. But how is it But how is it fixed? I I fixed it, boo boo. Look at uh. JB. I got him three sets of Christmas or oh, just holiday. Or Santa's um, note. Santa's note. Yeah. Well, it's not Christmas. He's gonna have. To, how do you know he's gonna get you a note? Hell! <laughs> I know for Santa. Mommy, Are you gonna donate that? Oh, uh, you can. Are you gonna save it for your ice cream? I'll buy your ice cream, baby. I'll buy your ice cream. Woo! I met the miniatures that you see all the um. This train is broken. 